ready to go with another day of USWA Championship Wrestling. Oh boy, we are ready to go. We've got the Moon Dogs and Richard Lee. They're going to be here today. They're scheduled in the opening bout. Harlem Knights, they're going to be here. The big guys from Harlem, they're going to be here today. Jeff Jarrett in a single bout. His opponent, Doug Gilbert. Should be a good single bout. Oh, you're Jeff absolutely and right. And, um, boy, we've got a full uh, program today. Let me tell you, you want to stick around for all of them. No doubt about it. It's a bit... Oh, my goodness. Sen sensational Sherry Martell. Oh, boy. Lance Russell, is that you? It's not Lance. That's Corey Jacklin. Brother, you got to stab that tanning bed. That causes cancer. What? Yeah, but... Why, why, why are you... Why are you here? I, I, Why am I here? I, well, let me see. If being a part of the World Wrestling Federation and the big star that I am, I'm always looking for any and every challenge that passes my way. Now, I have three things to say. Okay. One? Number one, there is a lady here. Maybe not a lady. Maybe a tramp. What? Yeah, that's what I said, a tramp. And she holds your lady's title. I happen to be a collector of titles and many other things, might I add. So, therefore, I want to see what I can do about getting my little hands into her. Secondly, I've been scouting all over the world looking for new boy toys. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Come here, sweetie. Yeah, come here. Oh, Brian Christopher, oh. new boy toy, huh? You tell me, I tell me, girls, is this sweet or is this sweet? What, what, what's your name, sweetheart? My name is Brian Christopher. Brian Christopher, what are, what are you doing here with these no-going aware people? And there's obviously no competition here. You're exactly so, right. You're exactly you should, right. You should, you should really, really think of coming back to the, to the WWF with me, Brian. You really should because, darling, you're just a sweetie and you got nice... Thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. So you uh, know that. Okay, I got one more thing to say. All right, say. number three. I'll see you in just a minute, okay, sweetie? Wait back there for me. I got one more thing to say. I want everybody to stay tuned. Stay tuned. Because Sensational Sherry has a surprise for everyone. Stay tuned. We'll find out about the surprise. Don't go away, fans. Last week, Mid-South Coliseum, Wrestle War 93. Here yeah. are just some of the highlights from that, from that evening. Boy, and ready to go. Here it goes, referee Frank Morrell. Goes for the bell. Referee Frank Morrell goes for the bell for Wrestle War 93. Boy, it's underway. The King with the hard hat on it. And for me, though, not on the way with him with that hat. The Moon Dogs, Brad Jess, now. ahead of night. Lower. Clavers for Mingo. Christopher's got Jeff Jarrett over here. Takes him and throws him right into the rails here at ringside. Jumps up on the table going out to Jeff. All the Knights and Moon Dogs all in there. Jeff. Oh, and Jeff Jarrett now for Mingo from behind. Nelson Knight and Moon Dogs flat. They're outside of the ring going at it. There's Nelson Knight from behind. Flamingo with the board on Jack Jarrett. Clover's Lawler picks up the board. Nels Sherrod with the board. Jabs him with it. Flamingo comes from behind with the board. Going out to Jared for Mingo after all of Jared, Moondogs. Ooh, Jeff Jared with that hard hat. Well, the whistle's blowing. It's Moondogs time. There's Richard Lee leading the way. 
Watt and Splat are headed over in this direction. Richard Lee with that folded metal chair in hand. We've got the chair, and I've got a few things I'm going to say. Mike Sample, Harlem Knight, you've had a taste of the Moon Dogs, brother, and you've had a taste of a Moon Dog battle royal. Let me tell you something, boys. When you see my dogs coming, the best thing for you to do is to either duck or get out of the way, because my dogs didn't get this ugly from their parents, brother. It's just a normal day in the life of a moon dog. And boys, I want you to watch something, because what you're fixing to see is going to be you before it's all over with. Richard Lee sends them up into the ring. Uh, breakfast time, he said. Well, all right, he sends them up into the ring, and, and, and his opponents are headed this way. Oh, my goodness. Watch, boys, because this is going to be you right now. Uh, the metal chair is already in the ring. Underway, the Moondogs and Richard Lee. Boy. Mr. Clyde and Todd Johnson. Boy. Already it's a long day for them, let me tell you. They have to climb in there against these Moondogs. Yes, sir, indeed. They're the opposition for Spot and Splat, the Moon Dogs running wild in the USWA. There's Todd Johnson up in the air. Splat leaks him up, throws him right down. Boy, he dropped him about seven feet straight down onto the mat. Mr. Clyde being rolled back into the ring now by Moon Dog Spot. Moon Dog's upset. Richard Lee, you heard him over here talking about it. Is upset for that Harlem Knights team. Yeah, they are upset and looking for the Harlem Knights. And boy, I tell you, almost would like for anyone else to be uh, angry and upset with me other than these Moon Dogs. Let me tell you that. Up and up, Moon Dogs. Boy, Spot with the metal chair just clobbers Mr. Clyde right in the back of it. Tells him again with it. And you can hear it all over the studio, Dave. Yeah. Mr. Clyde down in the corner, the Moon Dog working on him. Meanwhile, Moon Dog's flat working on the little guy, Todd Johnson. He just turned him a 360. Look oh, out, that's Bobby Knight, Mike Samples, and Nelson Knight hitting the ring. The Harlem Knights. Now uh, we got trouble. Harlem Knights and Samples come in a fear in there. Oh, oh boy, look at that. Nelson Knight just nailed his brother as Moon Dog yeah. ducked out of the way. Look at this, the Moon Dog. Big yeah. double clothesline, yeah. Mike Samples is calling the Harlem Knights back out. They came running in, interfered in the match. Yeah, I think the Harlem Knights, they wasn't equipped that time. They got to go back and regroup because the Moon Dogs took care of both of them in there. Well, the Moon Dogs ran them right out of here. There's yeah. no doubt about it. That's, That's exactly uh, what they Moon did. Dogs go back to work here against their opponents. But you know, the. Oh, boy. Yeah, they take care of Todd Johnson and Mr. Clyde in there. Richard Lee is blowing the whistle, saying keep working on him. He's got him pretending it's the Harlem Knights right there. Oh, yeah, the Harlem Knights come running out of here. Yeah. And Mike Selma said, hey, guys, let's go to the back and regroup and get this thing together because the Moon Dogs are ready for him. They need to regroup for a while, I yeah. think. I tell you, the way the Moon Dogs ran them out of here, I mean, they made him look bad, so uh, Harlem Knights are gone. Richard Lee has the Moon Dogs continuing against Mr. Clyde and Todd Johnson. Yeah, that's Mr. Clyde. Big Moon Dog flat takes him, whips him into the roll. Flat comes off. Big bomb takes oh, him oh, no. the Harlem Knights again. Oh, yeah. Referee calls with a bell, and Bobby Knight with that chest can. Now the way on Moon Dog spot over there in the corner. Big Nelson Knight has got flat, and we've got a out of control out in that. DDT, yeah. oh boy. And the, those big boards and the garbage cans, and then Mike Samples has got Richard Lee down in the ring. Yeah, he's stumbling over on Richard there. Marlon oh, Knight oh, were run out of here moments ago, but boy, they have really taken control as they came back in with a garbage can and the boards, and the Moon Dogs are in trouble. Let's take a break. We'll get this all sorted out. We'll be back with more USWA Championship Wrestling action. Look out.
there's still one board laying in the ring there that's uh, left over from the free-for-all which occurred there for just a moment. Harlem Knights went running out of here with the upper hand as uh, at first uh, the Moondogs had run them out. Uh, the uh, Harlem Knights uh, had uh, had uh, tried to interfere and the Moondogs just made short work of them and sent them right back out. But then with a garbage can and a board, here they come back. And yeah, now we see, we see that you come in with all Just the artillery. Quiet, say what I'm going to say. Richard Lee, I hope you learned your lesson. You never threaten the Harlem Knights, you understand? You don't threaten us, nobody threatens us. No if you want to fight, we'll fight. You want to wrestle, we'll wrestle. But if you want to go to war, Richard Lee, bring on anything you want. Cans, boards, shoot you trains, anything. We're ready to go to war because we're warriors. We're mean. Don't ever threaten me. Don't ever threaten me. Don't you threaten me either. Lester, get somebody. Get my pony. All right, Mike Samples really worked up about the whole thing. I think, you know what, I think I think we're he's upset. Go we're going to go to war. Yeah. Well, their opponents are in there right now. Yes. Tim Norris and Tim Sadler, and uh, I don't envy them today either. Boy, I tell you what, Harlem Knights got Mike Samples is really upset. I think what Samples is upset about as much as anything is uh, the way the Moondogs treated his Harlem Knights when yeah. they came in here the first time. I think that's what's got him disturbed about the whole matter in there. Yeah, you're exactly right, Dave. Bobby Knight. Well, Tim Sadler in, and a big elbow takes Timmy down. Boy, and a big Harlem Knight. Nelson Knight just steps over the top rope, boy, just like it's cutting cheese the next day. I'm still awed by something. his side. Nobody comes out here and threatens us and lives to talk about it. You just wait. When we get hold of them, that'll be it. Mike Samples with a word for Richard Lee and the Moondogs. Meanwhile, this is Nelson Knight. Ooh, I, the moves that this guy has to be so big. And are 525 just, pounds. I know. This is incredible. Ooh. Sam Norris steps in and uh, Nelson Knight whips him in. Takes Norris down in there. Jams it right on to the throat. Texas partner Bobby Knight of the Harlem Knights. Holding on to Norris and he comes down on him. Oh, goes over and nails Tim Sattler in the corner. Sam Norris looked up and saw Bobby Knight flying through the air at him. My goodness. Oh, gee, big drop kick from Bobby Nobody Knight. Nobody has the guts to challenge us because we are the greatest team ever, Dave Brown. Mike Samples again. Well, he's changed now from... Uh, from declaring war to saying nobody will even challenge him. So he's gaining confidence as he's watching his, uh, his Harlem Knights go against a couple of wrestlers who, uh, well, for instance, are not the size of the Moondog. Oh, yeah. Don't have been. the experience of the Moondog. All the rough and toughest of the Moondogs either. I didn't see the Moondogs backing up. I saw the Moondogs lying on the, uh, on the mat when they were hit by garbage cans and boards, but... Oh, did you see that DDT? Yeah, sure did. Boy, he drove him in the mat with that one. Big Nelson Knight. This guy is phenomenal. He is tough, let me tell you. Not only the weight that he has, but the ability to move around the wrestling ring. He can go. And look at him just step over on Sam Norris. Yeah. It's like, like having a truck drive over you. Yeah. Spot, I'm not talking about a picture. So, no, I don't like it, I sure don't. Alka won't cure that man's stomach ache, will it, Daddy? Well, I think you're right about that. That may be the first thing you've said all day that's absolutely true. Yeah, I think he's right. Alka Seltzer won't go late. All of Knight. That was the point of the fingers that Bobby Knight just hit Sam Norris with in the throat. Just yeah. jabbed him. I don't have to do that. All of that, yeah. That, that's the kind of stuff. They got him pinned. Big power slam, and he's choking him. Let's go for the pin cover. Just choking Sam Norris in there. Referee Kevin Christian telling him to break the choke. And he continues to go to work on Sam Norris. Tells him with a right hand. And went for a pin in this bad yet game. No, I know it. Disgusting. They bet uh, had several opportunities to get the count of three and walk out of here with a victory. But they're not content to do that. They want to try to hurt. Uh -oh. Uh oh, the whistle blows and the moon dog. <laughs> Look out. Uh -oh. They got a board of their own. And it looks like they got a steel chair with a uh, Mike Samples and Richard Lee going at it over here. Moondog Splat just nails Samples while Moondog Spot has nailed Bobby Knight. Now Big Nelson Knight is out of the ring. There he goes, round the ring. Yeah, Spot's got that board. And look at Nelson Knight giddy up, boy. He's hot telling it around the ring. 
He's running a hundred yard dash as quick as he can and spots out there with that big board. And look at Nelson Knight, boy, getting around there. The Moon Dog going after him. Swings oh, the board. Oh, he almost got him, him, but not quite. Nelson Moon Knight. Dog. Oh, ho. Spot uh, 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 runs uh, uh, him uh, uh, out of him. Oh, ho, ho. Knight to Nelson with that big board. And the Moon Dog and Richard Lee, boy. On by here today. Moondogs declaring victory now. We're declaring a break. We'll be back in a moment. Corey, you got a lot of out-of-town action coming up here, but the king is headed this way. Let's uh, see what he has to say, and then we'll turn it over to Corey and check all the USWA action coming up around the territory. And as we said, there's a bunch of it. Boy, it's been a great week for USWA action. And uh, King, I know you're involved in several things coming up here. Well, yeah, uh, and I have been involved in several things that have gone down. This past week, as you said, has been one of the biggest weeks ever in the USWA. Um, it's the Thursday night we were down in Oxford, Mississippi at Ole Miss. Great crowd. Tremendous crowd down there. And yeah. speaking of tremendous crowds, uh, well, first of all, I want to thank uh, everybody involved down at Ole Miss. The Lions Club did a tremendous job on uh, helping us out down there. It was a big, big night for everybody. We're going to be back down at Ole Miss pretty soon. Also, last night over in Jonesboro, Arkansas, yeah. I think was the record crowd ever in the history of Jonesboro wrestling. It was tremendous. Right. Anybody over there last? How many people over there? Big crowd in Jonesboro. It was great. Going to be right back coming up in Jonesboro uh, next next Saturday. Not tonight, but next Saturday. Looking forward to being back over there. Uh, some of the some of the different cities we're wrestling in this week going to be they're going to be wrestling over West Memphis, Arkansas this week, and I'm going to be up in Paragool, Arkansas also right. this week. Now, one thing I want to mention real quickly, um, I, you know, have you guys already said that it's a Macho Monday? Coming we, up this we, week? Had, we hadn't mentioned that yet, but Haven't it is. Macho oh, Monday I'm coming up to Coliseum. I didn't take away the surprise for you, but I got some things to say about the Macho Man because I faced him several times recently, and uh, I'm looking forward to facing him some more. But also looking forward to, as you know, we've had a little rain lately, Dave. Yes, but we <laughs> well, yes, we have. But uh, it has cleared up beautifully today, and uh, it looks like tomorrow is going to be nice again. And tomorrow is our very first. We're kicking off our softball season of uh, going around and doing our benefit games throughout the uh, the season. Tomorrow is our opening game, opening doubleheader. Actually, going to be a triple header down in Batesville, Mississippi. Want to bring up just a couple of the people real quick. Where where are the people from Batesville? Well, I, I said people. Wait a minute. Here's we got uh, somebody that's going to be involved in. Uh, one of the games. The Shrine Clowns are going to be going against oh, the Batesville okay. Police Department in one of the games, right? Yeah, we're going to play the, the police department. Who do who you think? Now, what happens if you guys beat the police department down there? The Clowns going to be in a lot of trouble, beat aren't Beat them. We will beat them. You will beat them? Yeah. They'll give you a ticket on the way out of town, though. No, we'll hide. Okay. All right. That's going to be one of the games. Uh, then, of course, we're going to be taking on Panola Mills, which is the, uh, I mean, you know, the big uh, Fruit of the Loom people down there mm -hmm. uh, are going to be there. Tell them uh, your name again. To introduce yourself. I'm Danny Munford. I'm the plant right manager right. of these, uh, uh, the ball team that's going to be playing Jerry and them again this year, uh, tomorrow afternoon. And we just hope Jerry brings his best group of men with him because we're prepared tomorrow. You got a team from, uh, from the mills in it. They're pretty good. Yes, we've got a Fruit of the Loom team there that uh, Jerry's whipped up on us before, and we just hope to make a good showing. <laughs> All right, very good. <laughs> We're looking forward to that. As I said, it's tomorrow at 2 o'clock in uh, Batesville, Mississippi at Trussell Park, and the first 200 people uh, down there get free tickets to Monday Night Wrestling, and believe me, that's going to be a big deal in just a few minutes when you find out. And one other game that I'm really looking forward to, I want to call my good friend Ed Allen, who has Batesville's best pizza down there. Again. Ed, I understand that Brian Christopher has come to you down in Batesville and put together a team called Brian's Bombers. Is that right? That's correct, Jerry. Brian came down. I wish Brian could come out here a minute, but he came to Batesville, had a briefcase full of money. He I said, I don't care what it takes. We have got to get a team to beat Lawler. Now, Jerry, you have been the king of wrestling. You have been the king of the ball diamond. But I hate to say it, buddy. We've been friends for years, but you're beat. You right. are beat Sunday afternoon. Okay, money, huh? you're beat. I uh, hope we'll remain friends, but you're beat. Another thing, I want you to listen to this real close. Ed, Ed's making a wrestling interview here. <laughs> no, but this here is very important. Go ahead. There is something going to happen to you in Batesville, Mississippi, tomorrow afternoon that has never, ever happened nowhere in Batesville, Mississippi, or the state of Mississippi, or the state of Tennessee. 
so you be ready. Okay. There's not but huh? two people know what it is. That's myself and one other person. Okay. Uh, All right. Be careful. Look. That could be Christopher, too, I guess. Okay, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. That's tomorrow afternoon, 2 o'clock. Trussell Park, right? Trussell Park. Batesville, Mississippi. Bring your line, cheers. Uh, yeah, all right, and uh, it's going to be a big time, and we'll just see how tough Brian Christopher is down there tomorrow afternoon, okay? All Don't right. forget Jonesboro coming up next Saturday, and Paragool, Arkansas, we'll see you there. And we're going to be back in just a few minutes, and I want to find out what that big surprise Sensational Sherry has. What is it? What about Sensational Sherry, huh? Huh? Man, I'm going to tell you, Sensational Sherry, if you're back there, Miss, she couldn't get a date on her tombstone, could she? she that, is a, that is an ugly <laughs> The king has spoken. Gory, uh, fill us in on all the action and the folks that are going to be around the territory. Yeah, boy. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> Thursday night, uh, April 22nd, West Memphis, Arkansas, Thursday night at the West Junior High School. Sponsored by the Band Booster Club. You've got Jeff Jarrett on the cart. Brian Christopher, Moondogs, Miss Texas, Harlem Knights, PG-13. They're all in West Memphis, Arkansas. Coming up Thursday night in West Memphis, at the West Junior High School, Friday night, April 23rd, Paragool, Arkansas. Coming up Friday night in Paragool, 8 o'clock bell time. There you see the big guard, the King Jerry Lawler, Hunky Tonk Man, and many more USWA stars are going to be in Paragool, Arkansas. The big spring spectacular coming up in Paragool on Friday night. Next Saturday night, great crowd last night in Jonesboro. Hope they'll all be out again uh, there next Saturday night at the Old Bell Community Center. Down on Church Street, the Moon Dogs, Jeff Jarrett, the King Jerry Lawler, King and Doll. That's simply divine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Steve, uh, uh, Steve Doll and Rex King, uh, stand by for them. Let yeah, me tell look you. out for those guys. Simply divine, King and Doll. They're scheduled to be in Jonesboro. Looks like another great night of championship wrestling next Saturday night in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Friday, April 30th, Covington, Tennessee. National Guard Army up in Covington. The King Jerry Lawler, Miss Texas. Ryan Christopher, Danny Davis, PG-13, Master of Terror, all in Covington Friday, April 30th. Friday, May 7th, Selma, Tennessee, McNair Central High School, and Selma also May 14th in Carruthersville, Missouri, and Batesville, Mississippi Championship Wrestling coming to Batesville Wrestling. Batesville, don't forget the softball game is tomorrow with the clown and Fruit of the Loom and all of them there, and Batesville, uh, Mississippi. Moon Dogs coming back this way. Yeah. I hear that whistle. Yeah, there's Richard Lee, and here come the dogs with a piece of a board and a steel chair in their hand. Richard, Dave Brown, just like everybody, everybody needs a play, play guy, you know what I mean? We have our little night dog over here, so my moon dogs have a playmate too. We're going to be a Paragold Friday. We're going to be at Domino's Pizza in Paragold from 4 to 6 if you want to come out there. But we're going to be fighting in Perigo Friday night. And brother, let me tell you what, if you've never seen a Moondog Battle Royal, you want to be there for Perigo Friday night. Because my dogs, boards, chairs, trash cans, is a normal way of life for my dogs. And a Moondog Battle Royal, you got it all, brother. So that's Perigo Friday. Our Noid Dog's going to be there. Everybody come on in. Moondog with a Noid Dog Playmate coming up there this week, too. We're going to be back here with Jeff Jarrett and more USWA Championship Wrestling Action. Earlier, we showed you just a few highlights. Take a look at how it ended up. Wrestle War 93. Look at Jeff Jarrett, he's got the trash can, comes off the rope, Mouse Christopher with the trash can, Christopher is out, hey, but look at this, here's Simply Divine, what in the world are they spraying in there, hey, come on, that's Rex King and Steve Dahl, Simply Divine, they just, a can of ether is what that stuff is in here, Christopher rolls up Jeff Jarrett. He's got Jeff covered. One, two, and three. Headed this way right now. We're hoping to get a word or two from Jeff Jarrett as he's on his way to the ring. He's scheduled today against Doug Gilbert in a single match here. One fall, 15-minute time limit. It's going to be coming up right here in the ring in just a couple of minutes. But uh, before we get to that, maybe uh, we can uh, just uh, have him here just to say a word or two about some of the action that's been going on in the USWA and perhaps even a word or two about, uh, about Doug Gilbert and the situation coming up here today. Here's Jeff right now. 
Yep, uh, headed this way, reading the fans along the way. And as soon as he gets around here, we'll uh, we'll see what's on his mind. Got that Southern heavyweight title still wrapped around his waist, but Jeff, I know Rex King and Steve Dahl have got to be on your mind. Yeah, that's to say the least, Dave. Uh, you know, the last time I saw uh, Rex call Rex Dahl, Rex King and Steve Dahl before they came in this area, I had some respect for those guys because they they came into this area, which is known for tag teams. And they were going straight to the top, and they worked hard, and they really cared about the wrestling. And then the next time I see them, I'm in Russell War, and they try to put me out. Now, I know you two guys aren't any kind of doctor or anything, and ether that can put you out for good. So, boys, you've made it a point to come in here and make, a na make yourself a name off of Jeff Jarrett. Well, you ain't going to get the job done. Now, Jerry Lawler, I asked him to be my partner, but he's got to take care of his title, and he's got his things to do. So what I've done, Dave, is I've gone out and found myself a partner, and it sort of happens a uh, funny kind of way. This past Thursday morning, a guy from Alabama called me up, and he said, have you heard where Rex King and Steve Dahl have been? And I said, well, it's funny you ask. I saw him Monday night. Well, boys, let me tell you something. A guy by the name of Wildcat Wendell Cooley is chasing you, and you know him real good. Now, the USWA fans hadn't seen him in a while, but he's ready, and Rex King and Steve Dahl, you know exactly what he's about. He said that you guys got the best of him in Alabama, and, he, and he's going to come up here, and he's going to finish his job, and I am too. So, boys, when you get in the ring against Wildcat Wendell Cooley and Jeff Jarrett, yeah, you can bring ether, you can bring a board or a, care, a chair, a can, it doesn't matter. You just better be ready for a fight, and that is a promise, because I am going to get the job done. All right, Jeff, good luck to you in that match, and in this match coming up right here today. Yeah, you know, the element of surprise gone if you got Wendell Cooley and Jeff Jarrett in there expecting Steve Dahl and Rex King. Let's see what happens here. This is a non-title match, but the man who builds himself as the king of rock and roll, and that's a title that he determined for himself. Nobody else gave him that. Everybody knows who the king of rock and roll was, and still is. Doug Gilbert, though, headed this. Oh, look at him. Look at him, friends. He's got the shades. He, he's, even, he's even got a shirt made up that says, Doug, hey, look at I see. Right there. Look at this shirt. Look at this shirt. It's going to say the king of rock and roll day. And I can still, I can dance, I can sing, I can shake. And I'm fixing to give Jeff Jarrett a lesson that he won't forget. Well, let's see. You know. I, I can get a shirt printed up that says the king of rock and roll, but that don't make me the king of rock and roll. Well, that's right. And it doesn't mean that I can beat Jeff Jarrett in a wrestling match, which I guarantee you I cannot do. Yeah, it doesn't mean you can sing and dance and all of that stuff like Doug claims he can do either. Oh, uh, that, well, look at that. <laughs> He's been watching too many Elvis videos. There's no doubt about it. Doug Gilbert, King D, it says on the back of his shirt. Back Jeff Jarrett into the corner. Takes a swing with a big right hand, but Jeff Jarrett moved out of the way. Look at this. Jeff Jarrett rolls him across the ring. Great move, and now all of a sudden, Doug Gilbert says, he pulled my hair. Well, you saw it. There was no hair pulling. That's a good move from Jeff Jarrett. Nice arm drag takes him out of the corner, and King D stands in. And the referee has checked with Jeff. Jeff, of course, says, no, I didn't pull his hair, and I'm not going to pull his hair. And the referee says, okay, let's go. Let's wrestle. So now King D comes in with the right fist. Couple of them. Melted away on Jeff Jarrett. Yeah, got Jeff back in the corner using that right hand. Head into the turnbuckle. King D trying to take control of the match here. Doug Gilbert. Oh, reversal on the whip. And it's Gilbert that bounced off the turnbuckles, and look at this. He, he stumbles out of the ring, <laughs> down on the floor, and it's a tough, tough day for rock and roll. He's, okay, okay. What's he say? Oh, oh, look at this. oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> He said he was going to come out here and just sing a little bit, but he's canceled the concert, and he's just going to give Jeff a wrestling lesson. He, uh, maybe, maybe who gets the wrestling? Oh, wait, look at that. Hair pulling, oh, yeah. that hair kind pulling of by Gilbert. Lesson. That's the kind of wrestling lesson he's going to give him, pulling his hair in there and pulling him right down. And again, he does the same thing. Yanked him right down to the mat. Jeff Jarrett finds himself on the mat as a victim of having his hair pulled not once but twice. 
by Doug Gilbert. The king of rock and roll, and Jeff Jarrett. Good thing about a USWA championship wrestling. A big program today. Boy, you want to stay tuned for all of it. Had sensational Sherry come out here. We want to see what in the world she's got going on later today. Yeah, she said she had a big surprise for everybody. I guess maybe it'd be a nice surprise if we didn't see her anymore today, huh? Yeah, she was a surprise from the beginning. Didn't That's know true. She was even here today. Growing up at the beginning was uh, unexpected. Jeff Jarrett, bar the left arm of Doug Gilbert. Backstock up and whips him into the rope. Gilbert comes off, big shoulder. Boy, takes Jeff down, leaps over, comes back, and nice hip toss from Jeff Jarrett. Jeff! Right, good move. Takes him down. Drags that left arm and bars hold to him. I hope Doug Gilbert's paying attention. This is Wrestling 1101, and it's being taught by Jeff Jarrett, the Southern Heavyweight Champion. Mr. Gilbert, a little, I don't know if he's overconfident or just never thinks he can lose a match when he comes in here. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, oh, look at this. Driving a shoulder into Jeff back in the corner. I think it's probably both. A couple of shoulders uh, from Doug Gilbert. The king of rock and roll nails Jeff Jarrett. Oh, they're going to nail away on Jeff. He's using that fist time and time again. That's about six times in the match that he's hit Jeff with a double fist. Yeah, slams Jeff into the turnbuckles. Setting Jeff Jarrett up for something here now. I don't know what it is. Suplexes Jeff right down to the mat. Boy, he got him up high in there, too. Finally goes for the cover on Jeff. Two, and Jarrett kicks out of it at two. Only a two count confirmed by referee Kevin Christian. It looked for a minute like Doug Gilbert had things going his way, but uh, often, I, I've heard uh, Jerry Lawler say this before, many times a wrestler will take advantage of the full two count yeah. and then kick out at the last second. Uh, to, in order to regroup a little bit, and I'm sure that's what was going on right there. Oh, Jeff Jarrett kicked out at two, trying to get his momentum going in there. Gilbert whoops him in, Jarrett! With a big boot as he comes off the ropes, and Gilbert down. Boy, he buses Doug Gilbert. Fast as Doug gets up, he goes back down. Jeff whips him into the road. Let's him up and right down, face first into the mat. He's got him covered. One, two. Oh, look out, Jeff. Here comes uh, King and Dahl. King and Dahl. Rex King and Steve Dahl have just jumped Jeff Jarrett when Jeff was a half count away from having a victory on Doug Gilbert. Now Gilbert walking around smiling, inviting yeah. King and Dahl to beat up on Jeff Jarrett and out joining in with him here. We got to get some help for Jeff. It's three against one. King and Dahl and Doug Gilbert jump. Oh, no, here look comes at Brian this. Christopher in now celebrating and he's going to join the fray, it looks like. Oh! Well, they shove him back. Yeah. Knock Plus, him out of the way. Plus Christopher right in the jaw, it looks like. And, and, hey! Hey, you idiots! I was coming in there to help you. Hey, you idiots, nobody hits me. You're gonna pay for that. I was coming in there to help you, you idiots. Nobody hits me. You'll pay, you'll pay. That's the word from Brian Christopher. Steve Whoa. Dahl just turned, and he didn't really turn around all the way. He just nailed Brian, who was coming in from behind him. And then he and Rex King continue to beat up on Jeff Jarrett, on, as please. Doug Gilbert and Rex King do now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, let me tell you people something right here and right now. This is how it goes around here. Brian Christopher. Nobody meant to hit you, boy. Let me tell you something. We simply divide in the ring. Nobody. Not you. Not a big mouth like Jeff Sherry. Nobody. Everybody falls. Don't mess with simply divide, baby. Word from Steve Dahl, Rex King here too, as they're trying to help Jeff Jarrett out of the ring. You know, we're sitting out here, hearing Jeff Jarrett talk about how he thought we was nice guys. Well, it's changed, Jeff Jarrett. We sit here and listen to you run your pretty boy mouth for the last time. Yeah, Dave, look like they got uh, Jeff right yeah, in they the got ribs him, there. Got him on the stretcher, got helping him, him out of here now. Yeah. Eddie and uh, everybody, and uh, got to take him out. Now, look out. There goes Dahl hey. climbing back into the ring. Go oh, he jumps up. He, he jumped out of there onto Jeff on the stretcher. And now Eddie Marlin 
is sending them out of here. I don't know what he told them, but man, he sent them right out of here after they did that. Well, let's, that's just ridiculous, Dave. Let's, let's get let's get stuff. Jeff out of here right yeah. now. Let's let's uh, let's take a break. We'll be back in just a moment. Jerry Lawler has already mentioned it. Uh, got a super night coming up at the Mid South oh, Coliseum. You're going to want to make plans to be there for this one. You're going to want to going to want to maybe just pack the whole family into the vehicle and yeah. head on down to the Mid South Coliseum. Be there at 7:30. That's when the opening match starts. Great You're going to have Doug Gilbert, the king of rock and roll. At least that's what uh, what his shirt says. The king of rock and roll, Doug Gilbert, will be going against Danny Davis. The opening match Monday night, Macho Monday, at the Mid South Coliseum. Coco, beware the Birdman, yeah. going to be coming in to go against Scotty Flamingo. That ought to be a That's great a match. That's a single bout. Yes, yes sir. indeed. Coco, beware against Scotty Flamingo. Texas title on the line then. Brian Christopher against Jeff Gaylord. Now look about that. The explosive tag match. Now, in an explosive tag match, that means it falls count just about anywhere. It's going to be one of those moon dog matches. Moon dogs with Richard Lee going against the Harlem Knights. They'll have Mike Samples in their corner. And I tell you, from what I've seen here today, I mean, Mike Sample says, yeah, we can have a war. We can't be beaten. No one will even challenge us. Well, the Moondogs and Richard Lee, two out of three times, were the ones that were left standing here today so far. Now, one time, I'll tell you, the Harlem Knights did come in here and ambush them with, uh, with the boards and the trash cans. So anything could go in this one, fans. Get ready. The explosive tag match, Moondogs and Richard Lee against the Harlem Knights with Mike Samples. Great about that. Yes, indeed. USWA ladies title match. Oh, boy. Sensational Sherry referred to this one when she was out here at the beginning of the show today. She, uh, she, well, she had some very unkind words to say about Miss Texas yeah. and said she was in here looking for the USWA ladies title. It will be Sensational Sherry Martell against Miss Texas. The tag titles will be on the line then. Simply Divine, Rex King and Steve Dahl putting them up against Jeff Jarrett. And Jeff said he's going to have Wildcat Wendell Cooley as his partner to go against Simply Divine, Rex King and Steve Dahl. Jeff mentioned in his interview that the last time we, uh, we saw uh, Rex King and Steve Dahl, they were in the USWA uh, some time ago. And uh, a totally different attitude from the one they've exhibited since they've been back. They do have the belts around their waist, but Jeff and Wendell Cooley are going to team up to try to stop that and get the belts from them come Monday night, Macho Monday, at the Mid-South Coliseum. Not all, though. May have been a night. You ready for this? Look at this one right here. It's going to be the Macho Man. Yeah, you knew what that Macho was all about. The <laughs> Macho Man, Randy Savage, will be going against the King, Jerry Lawler, but not just a match. Yeah. The unified title is going to be at stake. That's not all. It's going to be in a cage, and that's not all. It isn't sanctioned by either the WWF or the USWA. A non-sanctioned a non title match with a unified title on the line. But you put it in a cage, a title match, and neither federation will sanction it. They say, uh-uh, not, yeah. not the title match in a cage, but it's going to be in a cage non-sanctioned by the WWF or the USWA, that one is going to be some kind of night. Boy, what a great Mach card. Monday. Yes, indeed. Macho Monday, 7.30. It starts Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum. We'll be back here with Rex King and Steve Dahl oh, legally wow. in action when we return. <laughs> Rex King and Steve Dahl have made their appearance known in the USWA, and they're headed back this way right now. Here they come, Rex King leading the way, Steve Dahl right behind, as they'll step up into the ring for a one-fall, 15-minute time limit match here today against Don Kelly and the Avenger. Steve Dahl and Rex King have uh, wasted no time in making their mark in the USWA, but they've done it in such a way that the fans don't like, we don't like to see, they're taking some shortcuts. They've got the attitude that uh, is a problem, but they're tough. You can't take that away from them. Steve Dahl starting against Don Kelly. Yeah, Dave, uh, these guys have been wrestling in the USA area. So they wrestle from every woman's dream. Rex King and Steve Dahl, simply divine. Rips Kelly into the roll. Big double elbow, and boy, look at this. The attitude of these guys was just... Oh, yes. Make you not like him. Rex King insulting Don Kelly, yelling, get up, get up. Knocked him down and yells, get up. 
Ooh, oh, big big. Yeah, he was really way off the mat when he did that. Now threatening Jeff Jarrett. Yeah, that's Rex King in the ring. King nails Don Kelly. What a big right hand. Next start up. Yeah, Steve Dahl with his comments in there. Kelly comes off and boy, just flips. Kelly goes over and nails the Avenger. Yeah. See, there. now that's uncalled for. I yeah, mean, they're is. controlling the match against Don Kelly. The Avenger just standing in the corner, minding Body his own, own business. business. Yeah. And he just goes over and takes a shot at him for no good reason. And he doesn't like the match for the Avenger. And it just goes over and nails him. Yeah, just, just bad attitude, just a wrong attitude. That's the problem with these guys. Steve Dahl! Boy, flips. Don Kelly over, and Donnie has had a tough day in here already. From this team of Simply Divine, he takes Kelly, slings him over in this corner, and he tags the Avenger. Moved right to the midsection. Right hand sends the Avenger down. This team of Rex King and Steve Dahl, as we said, made a lot of noise in the USA area. Now they're in the USWA. They're the tag team champions, and well, let me tell you, that tough, but the attitude of these guys, King and Dahl, has changed the last time they were here. Boy, it sure world. has. Last time they were here, they came in as uh, Pacific Northwest champions, and uh, they were really kind of taking a tour around uh, around the country. They had won the Pacific Northwest Championship, and they looked mighty good. They had the right attitude. People liked them. They won some matches, and now all of a sudden, somewhere along the way, they've taken a turn, and uh, these aren't very nice folks. Simply divine, King and Dahl, Rex King, suplexes the Avenger, flips him over there. Steve Dahl calling for Jeff Jarrett. Where is Jeff? Where is Jeff? Well, yeah, I heard that. He's not far away, I think let me they, tell you that. I think they know where Jeff is. I mean, after all, they came in here and jumped him, and it was three or four against one, and they had to haul Jeff out of here on a stretcher. That's yeah. where he is. Got a pin cover there, only two, because he picked him up. Look at that. First neck breaker on the Avenger. Takes him down, rolls over, just lays over him. covers two, picks him up again. Man, oh, that was quite a move that Dahl put on him, that neck breaker. It almost looked like he was going to set up at the old hangman hole where you just kind of hold on, hang him across your back there. But then he dropped him down, snapped that neck. Now here's Rex King back in after the tag. One thing about it, these guys can wrestle. You hate to see them take the attitude they take in there, but... They can go, King and Dahl can. The big knee lift by Rex King has put the Avenger down on the mat, and he doesn't show much signs of, uh, of putting up an offensive battle here. It's been all oh, simply divine. Look, look at this, Jeff Jarrett. Hey, look at this. Not only Wait. Jeff Jarrett, Brian oh, Christopher. Christopher. Oh, boy. Christopher and Jarrett go after simply divine Rex King and Steve Dahl. I'm speechless. I don't believe. I don't believe it here. Now, Dave Brown, I know you got that funny look on your face like you don't know what's going on. No. Well, let me just tell you what took place in the back. Brian Christopher came running up to me. And he said, Jeff Jarrett, I got a deal for you. I got the biggest deal I've ever had for you. And Dave, you know, as well as I do, as well as the people know, sometimes Brian's deals are good, sometimes they're bad, sometimes they don't work, and sometimes they work. He came up and he said, Jeff, he said, let me take Wendell Cooley's place. Let me be your partner. That's exactly right. That's what he said, Dave, and I know you're looking speechless as well as I was in the back. Now, I've never, ever believed one thing this guy has said. All he, all he knows how to do is lie. But today, I believe it. I believe that he hates Rex King and Steve Dahl as bad as I do. And Dave, I've already cleared it with Eddie Marlin in the back, and the match is signed. That's right, Jeff Jarrett and Brian Christopher, not Jeff Jarrett versus Brian Christopher, Jeff and Brian against Rex and Steve. And boys, I can't wait. It's Jeff Jarrett, don't you worry. I still hate you. I still hate you, Jeff Jarrett. And as a matter of fact, 
I'm going to take back the Southern Heavyweight title before it's all said and done. But first things first, Rex King and Steve Dahl, I don't know who you think you are, but you done mess with the wrong person. You done laid your hands on me, and nobody, and I mean nobody, lays their hands on me and gets away with it. This week, Jeff Jarrett and myself are going to take you boys and give you a beating of your life because you don't know what I can do, but I'm going to show you what I will do this week. You understand me? Mark my words. You'll pay for messing with me. We've had some unusual pairings in the USWA, but none more unusual than Jeff Jarrett and Brian Christopher together. We'll be back with more in a moment. Macho Monday coming up. Last time, Macho Man Randy Savage and Jerry Lawler met. Look at what happened. Savage climbs the top ropes. He's up on the top one and comes down with that flying elbow. One, Lawler kicks up and on. The King back on his feet. And Savage hightails it out of there quickly. Oh, boy, look up. Savage throws him over the railing, onto the table, slams down on him with a unified world heavyweight title. Leaves over the rails and goes after Savage. Well, referee Paul Neighbors declaring it a count out in there. Macho Man, big Macho Man from the World Wrestling Federation. Oh, yeah! Get your scrawny butt back in this Memphis, Tennessee ring for two minutes and I'll show you what it's all about. Are oh, you a gutless coward? But Savage, boy, I don't know if he's going to accept. He's out there and got the unified world title. Well, out in the ring telling Savage, hey, bring it on for just two more minutes. Hey, hey, hey. as you can see, it ended up not a very satisfying yeah, night for the Macho Man, Randy Savage, last trip to town. He sent in this interview. Here's what the Macho Man had to say. Oh, yeah. Macho money is a reality. Thanks to the attorneys and the lawyers, promoter Eddie Marlin, you didn't want this to happen. King Jerry Lawler, you wish that this wouldn't happen, but it is, yeah. This is the final final. This is the end of the road. Another one bites the dust. A big steel cage match, yeah. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. Non-sanctioned by the World Wrestling Federation. Non-sanctioned by the USWA. Anything goes, yeah. We got a date, Lawler. Don't be late, yeah. And promoter Eddie Marlin, I, I want you to know something. You made a big, big, big mistake when you put your hands on me. Big surprises. Macho Monday. 
him, yeah. Freak out, freak out, big steel cage. It's over, it's over. No more, no mass burn, baby burn. Macho Monday is a reality, yeah. Macho Monday is on the way too. Somebody else that's on the way right now is the king. Here he comes. He's the one that's got that unified title. He's the one that's got the crown, and he is headed this way right now, I'm sure. He's got a couple of words about the macho man, Randy Savage. Oh, yeah, I got a couple of words for you, macho man. We're going to get ourselves locked in a big, nice steel cage down at the Mid-South Coliseum Monday night. You're right. You want to call it macho Monday? That's fine with me. Because you see, Macho Man, you can talk real tough when you're somewhere up in New York standing behind a camera and sending those interviews down here to Memphis. But we're going to see how tough you are when we get face-to-face -face inside the steel cage Monday night. Now, the last time he was in Memphis, he came down here. He told everybody that it was going to be Black Monday, that he was going to take my title back to the World Wrestling Federation with him. Well, let me tell you something, Macho Man. Let me remind your little feeble brain of something. Do you see this right here? It ain't been to the World Wrestling Federation. It's been right here around my waist, where it belongs and where it's going to stay. Now, like I said, he knows good and well that I am right here each and every Saturday. If he wanted to do all that talk, tough talking, why don't he come down here face me face to face instead of sending in his interviews and doing what he's going to do. Oh, boy, come on. Uh, sensational Sherry is headed back this way. Sherry Martell. Uh, get out of here. Would you just get out of here? Well, 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 if it isn't Queen Lawler. You know, you've got a lot of nerve talking about the only real man in the whole wide world. And that is the macho man, Randy Savage. Oh, yeah, right. You sat down here and little no good for nothing, hillbilly Hicktown, Memphis no going where, Tennessee, where the home of that no good for nothing legend Elvis Presley was born at on top of that. And you call yourself a champion and you say the macho man is a pea brain? Where do you get off, little man? I have hit. I have stood up against more men than you will ever stand up against anything in your life. And it is said that I can whip most men in this business. Hey, Lance, I see you back there, too. And for another thing, not today, not any other time in this lifetime, or the next, or the one before, or anywhere in your little feeble mind, will you ever beat macho man Randy Savage. Now, what do you think about that, smarty pants? <laughs> well, let me say something to you, sensational Sherry. You say you could whip most men in professional wrestling. Well, let me just assure you of one thing. I ain't one of them, sweetheart. You understand that? So don't come out here with all that little tough talk of yours. Don't start running your mouth. And as far as you calling yourself sensational Sherry, that's got to be about the biggest joke that I have ever heard. Let me tell you something. Let me ask you a little question. I want all of y'all to see if you know the answer to this. You know what the difference is between sensational Sherry and garbage? No, 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 no. There is a difference. The difference between sensational Sherry and garbage is garbage gets picked up occasionally. <laughs> Boy, she she has made a big mistake. She's made the king mad. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. Hi, look out. No, 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 King, don't, 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 don't pile king. driver. No, no, no. Oh, look out. Oh, look out. Randy Pick Savage. Savage. Randy Savage just grabbed the king from behind. Savage and Sherry, sensational Sherry, jump on the king in there. Savage out of nowhere, Dave. I Just came know. and jumped him from behind. He had sent in an interview. And that come on, Randy. This must be the surprise. Oh, come, uh, on, no, come on. Come on, Randy. Randy Marlin. 
going out. And thank goodness that he got here when he did and stopped that pile driver. Yeah. And now Sherry yelling at Eddie. Yeah, good to see now, now, all right, Eddie has told him to get out of here. I look at Sherry kicking Lawler again, and Savage says, yes, sir. Look out, he nails Eddie from behind. Oh, boy. Hey. Savage jumping on Eddie Marlin. Sensational Sherry. Hey, hey, hey. On the key. Come on, Randy. Oh, boy. Yeah, get Eddie. Yeah, get some security. Yeah, yeah get some here. help, yeah. Come on, yeah. Get security to get the Savage out of here. Oh, my God. Seven, seven security. Yeah, we'll get security to get him out. Let's, uh, hey, roll the brake. Roll the brake. Uh, things settle down just a little bit. I want to see if we can get Miss Texas out here and have a word or two with her. Got, uh, got some action coming up this week. And here she is right here. The fans love her as she heads over here to talk to us about some of the action in the USWA. Miss Texas. Yes, say. I'd like to say something. Sherry Martell, you think by coming down here, you're going to take over? I don't think so, because she had to go through me first, tough girl. Now, don't let my size underestimate you, because I'm tougher than you think I am. Watch out. Here she comes. Hey, Sherry Martell, we have seen far too much of her here today. All right, she's taking off the high heels. Excuse me if I get a little bit comfortable with this. So you're Miss Texas. You got that right. You got the USWA title. There you go. There right? You go right? Now. Well, I tell you what. You're in Memphis, Tennessee, not Texas, so that makes you unofficial. And oh, another really? thing. Oh, yes, oh, really. And another thing. Let me ask you, where did you get that outfit? No, well, let, let me ask you. No! I have got to oh, get your face out of my face, woman. You got your clothes at Kmart, am I not Where right? Where did you get yours from, a garage sale? No, I had to have mine personally made. And oh, one shit. other thing about, do those weeds in your head compensate oh, shit. for your lack of brains and everything else? Let me ask you. Oh, 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 boy! Oh, no. Hey, oh, yeah, Dave. Oh, look out. Oh, boy. Oh, Sherry grabs Miss Texas. Yes, it's just... Like, oh, come on, oh, oh, yeah. oh, come goodness on. gracious. Come on, Sherry, what you look at? Hey, hey, hey. Throws Miss Texas over the desk here. Sensational Sherry Martell. Oh. Smashing Miss Texas. Texas trying to fight back. Jerry Martell, look out. Kneeled her again with a big right hand. Miss Texas in trouble against Sherry Martell here. Eddie Marlin is saying, get out of here, don't put your hand on her again. And Sherry Martell says that she's going to leave oh, with an insult for all of us yeah. as she does. Oh, that's junk. Boy, I tell you. We'll be back with more USWA action after this. You stay with us, fans. Well, I tell you what, what a day it has been here. And, you know, we should have known. Man, we should have sure known that... trouble when Sherry oh. Martell showed up at the beginning of the program. That's horrible, and, uh, that kind of stuff she pulls. Come out here jumping on Lawler and 
you know, humiliated Miss Texas, pulling her clothes off and all of that stuff. But let me tell you, Sensational Sherry, she's been around and all of that stuff, but Miss Texas, she's a tough competitor herself. She's looking for Sherry, I bet you that. I think so, too. Sensational Sherry with the upper hand here today, but that uh, that may not be a, an indication of the way things will go when they meet in the ring. Yeah, and uh, that, right. again, that element of surprise is taken away. Let's, let's check the entire card coming up. Macho Monday at the Mid-South Coliseum. Opening match of the night. You got Doug Gilbert in there, the man who is a self-proclaimed king of rock and roll, going against Danny Davis. Should be a fine, fine opening match yes, for Macho sir. Monday. Danny Davis will be looking for Doug Gilbert, and as we said during the match, Doug Gilbert, I don't think he, uh, I don't think he understands it's possible for him to lose a match. So uh, if he comes in there with that attitude, he better be careful against Danny Davis. Coco Ware is going against Scotty Flamingo. This one Another should also be a good one. Yeah. yeah, a couple of guys who have wrestled not only in the USWA, but in uh, in other federations as well. Coco Beware, of course, very well known uh, in, uh, in the WWF. Scotty Flamingo from WCW. Bring them in here together, put them against each other in a straight-up one-against-one match at the Mid-South Coliseum, and you got yourself the makings of some mighty fine competition. Next match, and I, I'm not really sure that uh, that this match uh, is is going to occur or not. I, I guess it's uh, still on the card, but I'm not 100% sure, so let me warn you that in advance. Texas title schedule, Brian Christopher against Jeff Gaylord, but but there is a change with Brian Christopher, and I, you'll understand that as we go along if you, if you didn't see it earlier. Got an explosive tag match coming up then. This one, boy, there are explosions going off anytime yeah. these guys come in. Uh, yeah. Each team on its own when they come in, there's uh, there's plenty of explosive action. The Moon Dogs for uh, for how long now? They have been in the USWA with the chairs, with the garbage cans, with the big old boards. Almost said two by fours, but they're even bigger than that. They, they're more like one by eights or something like that. They come in here with, yeah. and they really can wreak havoc <laughs> in a building. And uh, they've done it here many times, and uh, they will be in this explosive tag match at the Mid-South Coliseum against two of the biggest wrestlers th that, that I recall in the business as far as tag teams yeah. go, and the Harlem Knights, they weigh in at 850. Yeah, they are a tough team, and this is where the main events begin from this bout on, day. Boy, I tell you, you got it. That, that would be a main event. Uh, That's a main event bout. Any yeah. night, anywhere, as a matter of fact, and uh, it's, it's just one of the big uh, final matches coming up to Mid-South Coliseum on Monday. You got Sensational Cherry, and boy, this one right here yeah. has uh, has some real significance to it. Sensational Cherry Martell came out here at the beginning of the program and really insulted Miss Texas. I mean, uh, she she uh, she uh, indicated that she has absolutely no respect for Miss Texas. Then comes out here and interrupts the interview, and then not only that, then uh, it ends up in a in, in somewhat of a free for all here. And again, uh, Sherry Martell, Sensational Cherry, with the upper hand in the action here today but Corey as you correctly pointed out Miss yeah. Texas not out of it yet oh not at all boy not by a long shot and not only that the USW ladies title is on the line ha huh. look out for that single about sensational share in Miss Texas and as Miss Texas herself said don't let my size fool you I yeah. may not be She's very tall tough not, little lady but I'm tough and she, <laughs> she is indeed USWA ladies title hangs in the balance then the tag team titles hanging in the, in the huh. balance as the uh, the new champion, Simply Divine, Rex King and Steve Dahl, uh, who made their presence known in a very unwelcome way here today as they came in and, and uh, jumped into the ring and uh, went after Jeff Jarrett. But they are going to be going against Jeff Jarrett and not Wendell Cooley now. Wendell yeah. Cooley will, uh, will be asked to step aside. Eddie Marlin has already approved the change. Instead, look, this is what happened right here as, uh, as uh, Jeff... And Brian Christopher came in to go after Simply Divine, Steve Dahl and Rex King. Simply Divine quickly exited the wrestling area. There you can see Brian chasing one of them through the curtains right there. And then we had the big announcement from Jeff, the surprise announcement, and, and I, I, I was, I was oh. speechless and am and, uh, and, and still uh, in a little bit of shock at the pairing. I mean, here are two guys who have gone against each other in some incredible matches. Hair against hair, everybody else's hair against belt, all of that sort of thing. As Brian Christopher and Jeff Jarrett have had some tremendous matches against each other, and and now all of a sudden it's going to be Jeff Jarrett and Brian Christopher paired against Simply Divine, Rex King, and Steve Dahl. And 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 Christopher said, as as they were out here, yeah, first things first, we're going to take care of this. But I still don't like it, Jeff, and I'm still going to come after you for the Southern Heavyweight title. So this is a uh, this is just a pairing to get the job done against Simply Divine, Rex King, and Steve Dahl. 
Oh, okay. Let's uh, let's uh, then go on to the next match with uh, the unified title at stake. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. All right, right here. Though this is where they're uh, they're helping Jeff out. That's after the, uh, he had been jumped from behind by Simply Divine, and then that that final little thing right there. That, that's what really got me uh, especially steamed at uh, at, at uh, Simply Divine, Rex King, and Steve Dahl. They had Jeff loaded on the stretcher, uh, taking him out of here, and Dahl goes over and jumps on the stretcher. Oh, now, yeah. I, I mean, you know, that sort of thing is just, it, it's, it's just horrible. That's yeah, horrible. It's, it's just not called for. It's ridiculous right. to pull that stuff out no of No way in the world should fun. be done. So on the Macho Monday, here's your match. Simply Divine, Rex King and Steve Dahl against Jeff Jarrett and Brian Christopher. Final match of the night. Get ready for this one. The unified title is at stake. It's going to be in a cage. It's not sanctioned. Not sanctioned by the WWF. Not sanctioned by the USWA. But it's going to happen anyway. Macho man Randy Savage going against the king, Jerry Lawler. That is the action coming up. Macho Monday. The announcers on this program are selected and paid by parties other than this station, namely the promoters of USWA Championship Wrestling.